Hello everyone, welcome to all of you. In our last lecture, we studied the mechanism of crossing over and the types of linkage. In today's lecture, we are going to start the new point, point that is the autosomal inheritance. We know the inheritance, but this inheritance or the transmission of characteristics, it is related with the autosomes. So what is autosome? Autosome here, the gene which is responsible for the determination of body characters means there is absence of sex. Now, sex sodun, J characters determine kele data, te sarva ja sarva kasha mole kele data, atosome mole character jahite determine kele data. So the transmission of body characters other than sex, transmission of body characters other than sex from parents to the offsprings through autosomes is called autosomal inheritance. Autosome cha madhya matun je body characters transfer kele jata parents person offspring kade tela bolu jata autosomal inheritance. For example, in human somatic cell it contains 23 pairs of chromosome. Human being madhe 23 pairs jahe ta chromosome cha present ahe. Out of that 22 pairs jasta 23 peki 22 pairs they are of autosomes 22 pair kasha chahet autosome chahet manje cha body character fakta ni fakta kai karta stat determine karta stat and the single pair it is of sex chromosome single pair jahe di kasha chahe sex chromosome chahe ji apla sex jo ahe to sex determine karna cha kaam karta stat and these traits are called as autosome linked traits. Body characters determine karna re autosomes jk particular trait body character determine karta tana autosome linked traits bolita. For example, in that autosomal traits, some are dominant traits. They are called as the autosomal dominant traits. Examples are widow's peak and hurting son's disease. Widow's pink and Huntington's disease, these are the examples of autosomal dominant traits, while the autosomal recessive traits, the examples are PKU, that is the phenylketonuria, then cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia. These are the example of recessive traits, autosomal recessive traits, PKU, phenylketonuria, then cystic fibrosis, then sickle cell anemia. These are the examples of autosomal recessive traits. These examples we are going to study in details in our next slide. So what is autosomal inheritance? It is the transmission of body characters other than sex from parents to their offsprings. So here instead of sex, the characters, it is determined by the autosomes. Let us discuss the first dominant autosomal dominant trait that is the widow's peak what happened in this widow's peak during the first example of autosomal dominant trait that is the widow's peak here in this diagram it shows the widow's peak and straight hairline here yeah, diagram madhe apnala widow's peak ek disto anki straight hairline disto so what is widow's peak in this widow's peak specifically here the prominent v shaped hairline on the forehead takes place ete apan jo forehead pahato ya forehead varti ka hai v shaped hairline ahe tela bolle jata widow's peak an dusra bajula matra ite kase ahe straight hairline ahe ete ka hai ete konte prakara cha v shaped structure apnala disat nahi so the prominent V-shaped hairline on forehead is described as a widow's peak and it is determined by autosomal dominant gene as it is autosomal dominant in a nature. So autosomal dominant trait which determines the widow's peak and widow's peak it occurs in a homozygous condition that is capital W, capital W and also in heterozygous condition that is the capital W and small W. Homozygous capital W, capital W cell, 
हेडेरोजाइगस कैपिटल डब्ल्यू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू सेल या इंडिव्यूजल्स मध्य विडोज पिक फोर हेडो वरती एपियर होता वाइल इन केस ऑफ होमोजाइगस रिसेसिव कंडीशन दट इज स्मॉल डब्ल्यू स्मॉल डब्ल्यू दे आर हैविंग दी स्ट्रेट हेयर लाइन देर इज नो विडोज पिक इन केस ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल देर आर इक्वल चांसेस ऑफ एपियरस ऑफ विडोज पिक सो इट इज अबाउट दी फर्स्ट एटोसोमल डॉमिनंट ट्रेट एंड द एक्साम्पल इज विडोज पिक लेट एस डिस्कस दी सेकंड एटोसोमल रिसेसिव ट्रेट एक्साम्पल इज फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द पी के यू दिस फिनाइल कीटोन यूरिया इट इज द एटोसोमल रिसेसिव ट्रेट and this autosomal recessive trait it is the inborn particular inborn metabolic disorder it is the inborn metabolic disorder and it is caused by autosomal recessive gene what happens during this pku phenyl ketone urea here the importance of enzyme is phenyl alanine hydrolase phenyl alanine hydrolase enzyme kay kar dasto जो फिनाइल एलेनिन आहे या फिनाइल एलेनिन से कन्वर्जन टायरोसिन मध्य कर बट व्हेन दी पी के यू ऑकर्स दिस फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोलेज एंजाइम इट फेल्स टू कन्वर्ट दैट फिनाइल एलेनिन इनटू टायरोसिन मे फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोलेज एंजाइम हे फिनाइल एलेनिन से कन्वर्जन टायरोसिन मध्य करू शक नहीं होता हा जो फिनाइल एलेनिन है ड्यू टू दिस कन्वर्जन ड्यू टू फेलिअर ऑफ दिस कन्वर्जन ऑफ फिनाइल एलेनिन टू टायरोसिन बाय द एंजाइम फिनाइल फिनाइल एलेनिन हाइड्रोलेज दैट फिनाइल एलेनिन इट पर्टिक्युलरली एक्युमुलेट्स इन द बॉडी पार्ट्स लाइक द ब्लड एंड सेरेब्रो स्पाइनल फ्लूड मग हम का होता फिनाइल एलेनिन चक्युमुलेशन होता कशा मध्य एक्युमुलेशन होता ब्लड मध्य होता ब्रेन मध्य जो सेरेब्रो स्पाइनल फ्लूड है ज्यादा सी एस एफ बोलते सी एस एफ मध्य एक्युमुलेशन होता एंड ड्यू टू दिस एक्युमुलेशन इट अफेक्ट्स ऑन दी डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ब्रेन एंड इट कॉज इज दी मेन्टल रिटार्डेशन देर फॉर द एक्सेस एक्युमुलेशन ऑफ दिस फिनाइल एलेनिन it is excreted in the urine and the disease which is called it is called as the phenyl ketone urea that is the p k u and it is the autosomal recessive traits and it appears in both the sexes in equal frequency and these traits it tends to skip the generations also so it is all about the autosomal inheritance in that autosomal dominant inheritance with the example of widow's peak and the autosomal recessive inheritance with the example of phenyl ketone urea in the next lecture we are going to start the sex linked inheritance thank you